Last time we loaded up this model into our game. I'm gonna label the vertices. This very simple square rectangle model that we popped into our game. There it was, we decomposed it into two triangles, loaded these triangles into the engine, and it was great. So the keen of you will have noticed that we have some duplication. D and B are in both of the triangles. I'll show you what I mean. Triangle one was D, A, and B. And triangle two was D, B, and C. And look at that. We have a D in both triangles and a B in both triangles. And actually, if we, if we continue this mesh of triangles, you can see that we're going we're gonna to share many more points, too. This C point is now shared with three triangles, this D point with three triangles. And, it, and you can even share with like five or 10 or 20 triangles if you're crazy enough. So that can be a problem because each of these vertexes is 12 bytes. Uh, and that's a lot of bytes going around. So there's a, there's a method that we can use to optimize this. So let's see, we're gonna make the mesh vertices. Instead of organizing them into triangles, Let's just make a big list of vertices in this mesh. Let's make, let's just make the same two triangles we had before. Okay, so A, B, C, and D are all the vertices in this triangle mesh. And then we'll make, after that, a list of indexes. Now these are the actual triangles. These are, this is just a group of vertices. This down here, these are the actual triangles. So let's number, let's number our vertices. One, zero, one, two, three. In, in programming, we always start our arrays with zero. So now let's make, same as before, a group of three indexes that will represent a triangle. And you'll see what I mean, let's do it. Let's do D, A, B again. D is index 3, B is index 1, so I'm sorry, A is next, A is index 0, and B is index 1. So that's a group of three indexes into our array list, and that'll give us our first triangle. And then, let's do it again for D, B, C. D is index 3, B is index 1, C is index 2. And that's another group, group of three. So we have two triangles here, six indexes total, three vertices each, so two triangles. And let's close this guy up. So that's it. Now we have two lists instead of one, but that's all right, because let's look at the space savings. Up here, we had six, six vertices times 12 uh, bytes per vertex is 72, 72 uh, bytes. Whereas down here, let's see what we got. We have four vertices times 12 plus six vertices times, each of these can be either usually two, sometimes four bytes, depending on how big your models are. Usually all we need is two, so I'll go with two here. So 4 times 12 is, I uh, get my calculator out, 4 times 12 plus 6 times 2 is actually only 60. That's a pretty good save. That's a savings of about 15%. But actually, this is small beans because when you have really big models where a lot of the vertices in your triangle mesh share between multiple triangles, you can get savings of like, you can have a model that's like a third of the size using this technique a third of the size than, uh, than it would be otherwise. So that looks pretty good. Let's go in the code, code time. Let's do code. So now instead of making an array of, or a vector of, of triangles, where each group of three is a triangle, now we're just gonna put all of the vectors that we need into one big array here, one big vector. And we'll make a new 
unsigned int avec indices, and this vector, or array if you like, will be our triangles. Each, every three entries will be a triangle. So let's push back. Let's see, we're going to do 3, 0, 1. That's D, A, B. So that was our first triangle, first triangle. And then 3, 1, 2, second triangle. That is D, B, C was our second triangle. And again, these are just the indices into the point array, into the point array. If you're confused about what these numbers mean, check out the uh, first half of the video again. They're the same as I put in that list, in the second list near the bottom. So now let's, now we have our index list and we have to load it into the video card the same way we loaded our other list. Surrender. Load index data. It's really the same thing too. Indices size times size of an unsigned int. And then we're going to give it the address of this data. There we go. Now same thing as the point array. We can clear out the indexes, the indices, when we're done with them. They've been passed into the video card now. We're done with them. The video has that memory. The video card has that memory. And all we have to do is draw it. But we're going to draw it a little bit differently uh, than we did before. We have to use indexed. Indexed. Then let's see. Oh, I barely remember. Oh, yes. Billboard. Billboard. So we're going to pass it the index buffer that we created, and it's going to use this index buffer to determine which vertices to use in which triangles. Uh, and of course, we want to draw, is that right? Vertice, there are six vertices in this index buffer. So I hope that's it. I hope that works. I hope everything is hunky dory. Uh, if, it, it, if it doesn't, then I'm going to be embarrassed. Duly embarrassed, I shall be. Nope, it works fine. I'm not embarrassed. There we go. So this is a huge space improvement for us. Um, so we're done with optimizing our vertex arrays. Now we're going to start seeing how we can build more and cooler models with them.